And Tina from, from the Rockland County Business Journal, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? All hey, right. Tina, how are you? Good, good. How's everybody over there? We're good. We've been in the middle of a 50th anniversary celebration of Steve. It's his 50th anniversary in radio today. You're kidding. I well, kid you not. That's an, that's an incredible milestone. How do, you, how, do you, how do you keep it up? How do you maintain it? Uh, I secret? drink a lot and do workouts. <laughs> All right, all right. Exercising the muscle, right? That's what so they what, say. Yeah. What have you got for us this morning as we're uh, kind of a, a, on a tight one here, but but uh, want to get some of the highlights of what's in the journal? Uh, well, what's yeah, in the I haven't journal. talked to you guys in a couple of weeks because of the holiday. And um, I think by now you know that uh, Jeremy Schulman was, um, is taking over uh, the post that Lucy Red Zaprosky had. Right. Um, as the... Um, I guess, Director of Economic Development and Tourism right. for the county, and that they're essentially, I guess, folding in uh, the REDC. It so, kind of does seem that way, but it's really unclear what uh, what the REDC thinks is happening to them. I'm not 100% sure they, they admitted it in that way. No, well, it's basically they're, they're shutting down that, that, that organization. That, you know, they're a nonprofit that's largely funded by, by government. Right. Right. So those um, missions, the mission of that organization gets folded into Jeremy's new job and the office that handles economic development and tourism for the county, and the REDC exists no longer as a separate entity. It would appear that way. Well, it, it, yes. is, it is that yes. way. Yes. Yeah, their, their board voted uh, unanimously. I'm just saying, by the press release that they put out, they didn't quite put it that way. They kind of seemed to think that they would still exist without actually saying goodbye, you know, thanks for, for funding us, and we're, we're riding off into the sunset. They're just kind of just changing names, really. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, there was probably some duplication between the two agencies, and um, I mean, it, it is interesting, uh, I, I think. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, this county really needs to be out on the forefront uh, on, on economic development. We really need to be thinking about how we're going to chart the future. We've talked about that week after week after week at the town level and, and at the county level. So uh, truth be told, uh, Jeremy has um, big stilettos to fill, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, Lucy really was a force. And... Um, I think that the agency itself, um, I think that there's just probably a lot of pressure to see how that agency um, performs. So we will keep an eye on that for sure. He's got to land something big, that, uh, that uh, like, a, like a Legoland. I know Lucy was upset that that was the one that got away that she was most uh, upset yeah. about. Uh, if he can land something like that, a, tour, a big tourism hook, uh, that would be a coup. You know, I'll tell you what I think about that. Um, I think that everybody likes to cry in their soup over Legoland specifically. And, uh, you know, okay, maybe that was the one that got away. But I really think when we think about economic development, it's not about luring one entity to, let's say, the Nyack College site, and then we're good to go. It, it's really about a bigger vision, a bigger plan, in terms of how the pieces interlock and work together and you know what the county becomes and represents oh no doubt but uh, i remember we interviewed lucy a couple of months back uh, i think it was as she was leaving or just before she was leaving and i know that was one of the things she had indicated that she was disappointed in. not just i mean she's obviously got some big shoes to fill uh, he's she's been touted far and wide by the county executive all throughout her tenure. Uh, but if you're talking about tourism specifically, that's the one one of the, those things that you could look to as you know. It's well, it's different than a, a typical office complex or a school. This is something that would have been unique uh, in the area, certainly throughout uh, uh, for for tourism uh, as it as it would be that that didn't come here and instead went to Orange County. That's true, and um, actually, they're having lots of environmental mess up there. I don't know if you've been following that. Story. Yeah, well, there, 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 there are groups that are upset about it, but whether that actually slows them down too much or not still remains to be seen. But because they've they've already started, you know, putting shovels in the dirt, so we'll yeah, see no, how no, it goes. I, Legoland up there will get built. I'm just saying oh yeah, they've they've fallen into um you know they've been fined by the DC and uh huh 
we've had a lot of problems. But no, I, I yeah, no, I mean, I think the thing about Rockland County is that, is that we have to think Don't about, us, you know, who we want to be. Uh, you know, are we a county that's that's filled with interesting interesting hotels and and I mean I, I think one of the the areas that you can see um, you could just you see it before us is we're becoming a place where the whole craft beer uh, category is driving a lot of um, interest and buzz and 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 tourism ha, buzz uh, I get it yeah you know, you know what I mean I mean like the beer industry here the craft beer industry I, I think if you can look in one pal- palpable um, area where where you see a pulse, where you see activity, where you see creativity, where you see p- interesting partnerships, like the recent um, you know beer fest over at Garnerville, um, here's an industry that's that's hot, it's young, it's it's vibrant, and and it's you know you can see you know them partnering. I don't know whether it's a farmers market, whether it's things that they're doing at the breweries themselves in Pearl River, and even how those breweries in Pearl River are allowing Pearl River to think of itself, you know, as a place that has um, more possibility. We, we wrote a cool story last week that got a lot of in- attention about a restaurateur in uh, New City. Uh, he, he owns um, Dill Mediterranean Grill on, on Main Street. It's like Mediterranean food, um, like fast, casual. And he'd gone to the, the uh, Orange Town Planning Board and said, look, you know what, I, I'd like to do a food truck. Um, in Pearl River, you know, late night, capture that, that post-beer um, drinking, you know, crowd or possibly early morning. And he, was, and he presented the idea of, you know, the, the, the food truck, um, like the colonies of food trucks that have also become like a, a magnet, you know. And um, the, the town doesn't have an ordinance one way or the other for that. So those town officials are going to have to, you know, drill down and think about how that might work or deny him although I think that would be short-sighted. It's things like that, you know, it's things like that that, that push us away from, not push us towards something new, something interesting, something that it's not, and what I'm saying is it's not Legoland. It's not this one big word, this one big thought, one big concept. It's more like small things that are very popular and that have the ability to really drive tourism in a much more organic um, you know, progressive um, building block sort of way. So if I, you know, I, you know, if I were in that job, I would be thinking a little bit along those lines equally, as well as trying to hook the big fish. Oh, I'm, I'm not trying to even suggest that they're only looking to hook the big fish, but I am saying that if they were to hook a big fish like that, like a Legoland type of a thing, particularly on the tourism side of things, that Rockland gets over its neighbors, I think that would be a coup. I think that would be very important. Yeah, In I mean, addition to the other stuff that should be happening on the daily basis. Yeah, I guess it depends on, on what entity that is. And um, Of course. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes, you know, what happens with those, with those big, um, um, uh, big attractions is that they don't necessarily um, benefit the, the the greater community. Like they're 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 an attraction, they're insular, um, but they don't necessarily bring commerce beyond their borders or their walls or their gates or whatever. Um, you know, so so that that's another thing is that it has to be. I, I think. I mean, these are just my opinions. I'm haven't been appointed this position, but I think that it, it, like, the more we look at things that are integrated, so, so you know, if we look at, at the hotel industry and how that can be integrated, you know, if we look at, um, you know, beer, beer gardens and, and things like that and biking paths and bike share and just those are the sort of things I think that build economically in a slow and healthy and, and um, an integrated way, uh, whereas those big attractions, I guess sometimes they're a jump start to other. Like I know in Orange County, and we did a story about this. You know, there's a tremendous amount of. Um, I think there are 12 or 13 hotels underway between Woodbury Common all the way up to the border of Sullivan County along that 17 corridor, and you know that's an example um, of of how those big entities you know, start to really stimulate a lot of development. I know that they're trying also up there to get the Great Wolf Lodge, um, but that they haven't done that yet. And I think we, we were trying to get that also here. Correct. Yeah, they haven't found a landing place yet. 
Yeah. Now, you know, it's true. A water park like that, I guess that really would be, um, yeah, I guess that would be tremendous. Um, but where where would that go? What what site would? Well, there was talk. I think Ramapo was looking to do that over in the Suffern area where Novartis was, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, I was thinking they were looking, or they someone had had suggested that as an area. It's right off the the throughway, easy on and off to get to. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there is the possibility. There's a possibility it could even go where where Legoland might have gone if they changed their mind up there. Yeah, but then the water company would want the desalination plan back to <laughs> Coney. Anyway, listen, we got to run because it is time for Listen Up Rockland, which is heard every uh, Monday, the first Monday of every month. So, uh, Tina, the 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 uh, publication, which is in strictly internet publication, right? Right. RCBizJournal.com. RCBizJournal.com. Online, 24-7, bringing you your business news. All right. Thanks much. Speak to you next week. Yep.